In the summer of 1970, Kana, an eight-year-old girl from Tokyo, and her parents traveled to the small town of Aya in Miyazaki Prefecture to visit her grandparents. They had a small house and a large property which Kana reveled in running around and exploring the lush green and overgrown countryside. Kana's parents had left her in the care of her grandparents as they tended to some commitments in the city of Miyazaki itself, which Kana did not mind at all. She loved the freedom of being in the wide open spaces outdoors and would disappear for hours into the surrounding forest. It was on the second day her parents were gone that Kana had her first unfortunate encounter with Hachi Shakusama, the eight foot tall lady. Kana was just inside the edge of the forest, happily collecting rocks to take back as souvenirs, when she heard a disturbing sound. Po, 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 po. It whispered in a deep masculine voice. Kana looked up towards the source of the sound and froze in fear when she saw a huge woman dressed in all white, with hair as black as a raven, a cold grey face with an unsettling smile and a huge hat that cast a shadow all the way down her long, eight-foot-tall frame. Kana and the woman locked eyes briefly as Kana tried to find her voice to call out, but she could barely breathe, let alone make a sound. Then the woman backed away and disappeared into the dark shadows of the forest behind her. Kana, struggling to get her legs to work properly, ran back to the farmhouse immediately and told her grandma what she had seen. Once Kana's story had been properly relayed and the gravity of the situation set in, her grandma's demeanor quickly became deadly serious. She grabbed Kana by the arms and demanded to know exactly what she had seen and heard. As Kana explained, her grandma began to weep. <laughs> 